Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be speaking about something that people who buy and sell stocks should know, and that is what is a call option. This is going to be one of two. We'll have one video covering what is a call option and one covering what is a put option. But in this one, we're going to talk about what is a call option. And I'm going to give you my definition of an option. I've heard many definitions that have left people scratching their heads. But I'm going to give you my definition of an option. An option is basically a promise. And it's a promise that you can buy or sell. Now that may sound a little confusing to you, but as I lay it out more, you'll understand. So what exactly is the promise? One, when you're dealing with options, you're always dealing with 100 shares. So the promise is concerning a hundred shares. The promise is also concerning a specific company. We know that when we buy or sell stocks, we're basically buying or selling shares of a company. So the option is concerning a hundred shares of a particular company. In this example, I'm using PepsiCo, and it's concerning a strike price. The strike price is the price that you want to buy or sell those 100 shares at. Now, it took me a little while to get to doing this video, so when I actually put down the information for this video it was a couple of weeks ago maybe a week ago and the price of pepsico at that time was a hundred and sixty one dollars and ninety nine cents the price has moved up now but at that time, the price was $161.99. So I use the example of getting an option on PepsiCo with a $162.50 strike price, which was near the current price. The expiration date that I chose was 85 days from that date, which was January 19th, 2024. So I put this together on October 26th, and the expiration date that I chose was. January 19th of 2024. And actually, right now it's, so I guess it was longer than a few weeks because right now it's November 16th, is it? Yeah. Yeah, right now it's November 16th. So, um, it was maybe a little longer ago. Yeah, it was about two weeks or one and a half weeks. So now we know what the option contains or what the promise is. The promise is that you will be able to buy a hundred shares of PepsiCo for $162.50 a share on or before January 19th 
of 2024. That's the promise. Now, in order to make this promise, there's two things you can actually do. And I'm going to use Best Buy as an example. I'm assuming that most people know what Best Buy is. But just in case there are people who don't know what Best Buy is, I'm going to explain. Best Buy is basically a store, electronic store. They sell appliances, they sell televisions. But the reason I'm going to use Best Buy as an example is because you can, if you want to buy a TV set, you can go into Best Buy and you can buy a TV set from Best Buy. They're selling them there. What you can't do is go into Best Buy and just sell your TV or TVs to people randomly. You can't do that. Well, options are a little different. When you sell an option, you're basically selling a promise that somebody, um, let's, if you sell an option, you're selling a promise that somebody can buy 100 shares of that stock at a specific price on or before a specific date. And if you buy an option, you're buying a promise that somebody can will sell to you with for a hundred shares at a specific price on or before a specific date. So to give an example of what I mean by that, let's say I had a hundred shares of PepsiCo and I wanted to, I was willing to sell them for $162.50 a share on or before a specific date. Let's say that that specific date was October 20, was um, January 19th of 2024, like I have here in the example. In that case, the bid price for those options would be $7.65 a share or $765 for 100 shares. What that means is I can sell that promise and make $765 for selling it. On the other hand, let's say I did have 100 shares of PepsiCo Four hundred and sixty-two dollars. Um, I didn't have hundred shares of PepsiCo, but I wanted to buy a hundred, and I wanted to buy them at one hundred and sixty-two dollars and fifty cents, and I wanted the contract to last until January nineteenth of twenty twenty-four. In that case. That contract would cost me $7.75 a share. And if I multiply that by 100, that means I would be able to buy the contract for $775. So you can buy options contracts or you can sell options contracts. Now, if you buy an options contract, it's higher risk because if I buy 100 shares of PepsiCo at $162.50 a share and PepsiCo falls a dollar, I've just lost $100. But I still have 100 shares 
at $161.50 a share. So with stocks, a stock may go up or down. You may lose maybe 2 3% in a day, in a market day. If an option goes down, you could lose 20% in a day, 30% in a day. On the other hand, if it moves up, you could make 20% in a day, 30% in a day. So the reward is much greater if things go right, but the hurt is much more if things go wrong. And we use the PepsiCo example again. The stock is at $162, was at $161.99 in this example. You may have a stock that loses some value. It falls a little, but it still retains value. Maybe you lose 10%. Maybe you can even lose 20%. Maybe that'll happen over like a month or something like that. But you're not going to be worried about losing everything. With an option, like I said, that option can be you could lose 20 30% a day. You could possibly lose everything in a week or a couple of weeks if you just sit there and don't do anything and just hold on to it while it's dropping. So with options, there's three out of four ways of losing. This strike price on this option is $162.50. If the stock price moves above that, that way I win. That's one way of winning. If the stock price stays at one sixty one ninety nine, I lose that way. If it goes up to one sixty two forty nine, I lose that way. And if it moves down, I lose that way. So if you're buying an option, there's three out of four ways of losing. On the other hand, if you own 100 shares of the stock and you're selling the option, there's three out of four ways of winning. Because if you're selling the option, you don't want it to go up past the strike price. So if it moves down, you gain that way as long as it doesn't move too much. If it keeps moving sideways, you gain that way. And if it moves up but it doesn't pass the strike price, let's say it moves up to 162.49, you gain that way. But even if it moves up to, let's say, 164, and then you have to sell your 100 shares of stock. Even though that wasn't the greatest desired outcome, you still gained because you got paid $775, no, $765 just for selling the option. And then any money from the price where it is up to the strike price is yours as well. So with the selling, it's pretty much an almost no-lose situation. And with the buying, the return when you do it, when you're right, the return is much larger. But when you're wrong, the hurt is much more. So just to give an example of what I'm talking about in terms of price,
right now the current date is November 16th so I made this on October 26th meaning the paperwork but the current date is November 16th I'm gonna pull up Pepsi and go to an option with a January 24 oh with a January 19 expiration and the strike price is 162.50 actually I can't get a 162 strike price anymore but with the 160 strike price the option moved up to 900 and sixty dollars which means that 162 strike price would be around eight hundred and sixty dollars now so the option that I bought for 775 I would almost I would have around eighty five dollars profit on it already so that brings us to our next question how do you make money from call options and the answer is twofold first off you bought an option guaranteeing you that you could buy a hundred shares of PepsiCo for a hundred and sixty two dollars and fifty cents a share well that being the case let's say PepsiCo moved all the way up to $180 in that time anybody else who wanted to buy 100 shares of PepsiCo they would have to pay $18,000 for those 100 shares because PepsiCo moved up however you would only have to pay sixteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars because you bought a promise that you could buy them for that price so that's one way that you can make money from options but let's say you don't have sixteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars sitting around to be able to buy a hundred shares well as I just demonstrated to you if the price of the underlying stock moves up which in this case it did the price of the options contract will move up as well and if it moves up enough it may move up maybe five to ten dollars you may make 50 percent return on your money or even a hundred percent return on your money there's quite a few options i've had where i've had like 50 to 100 percent return on my money in about a month's time so if it goes wrong and it goes down you're gonna hurt but if it goes up it can let's I'll, I'll use the word blessing it can be a blessing you can get a very high return on your money 
And that can happen in a short period of time. Okay, guys, so that's basically it about what is a call option. In the next video, we'll be talking about what is a put option.